everybody. I have a Goodwill haul to share with you guys. This is the stuff that I got from my Shop With Me video that I posted yesterday. Um, I went to actually two different Goodwills on my way back from Tampa. I had to drive like an hour away to get some packing supplies. I hit the one that I vowed that I would just not go to again because they stunk the first time, but they proved me wrong. Um, on the way home, I had just a little bit of time left and I stopped by the one at my house and I found a few things. I didn't have enough time to like walk around and record anything for you guys, but I will show you guys what I found. So these I super, super, super love and I thought my daughter would just kick me if I didn't get them. Oh, yeah. um, they're pastel colored little houses mm -hmm. and they have like a wick right there and it looks like, hold on, you can see that they like lit a candle in there and it says doo -doo -doo -doo, Victorian holiday candle, you know, made in China by Gift Co. So I'm going to look these up. Um, a couple of their little things are gone but I wouldn't like them anyway I would just keep them as they are but they were three dollars a piece I kind of was like kind of hemming and hawing and I was like oh my gosh because she wants a pink Christmas tree in her room like a pastel tree so I was like oh my gosh she would probably love these little yeah. houses so that's the first thing I saw I grabbed those and then I have been looking for these dang tart tins. When I used to go to the weigh and pay by my old house, I these would be all over the bins. Nobody ever wanted them, and I have not been able to find them. And lo and behold, they were at the Goodwill that I vowed not to go back to. So I'm glad that I found those. I'm going to use those for some Christmas decorations. I grabbed this. I don't think I showed it in the video, but it's this really cool, tall, um, like, mixer. Um, drink stirring mixer thingy it's not like old really but it's just really cool looking um, it's like a beaker type and they actually were selling st. Germain um, they were selling for about 15 to 18 dollars I've seen them um, in the sold listings for I did grab this I was I was pleasantly surprised a lot of these older rubber stamps um, unless it's like, um, there's a few brands that do rubber stamps that still sell really well because people collect them and, you know, they're retired and they don't make them anymore. So these are by All Night Media. They're actually the stamps that are on like a rubber or a foam mount. Um, the Winnie the Pooh, different, the different one, the different, uh, what, what would you call it? Like collection of collections of them have sold pretty well. They've sold, I saw them between 15 and like $30. Um, the $30 ones were wood mounted. So I don't really expect that for these, but even if I got like, I don't know, 12 bucks for a poo collector, this one doesn't have a date, but hmm, that can't be the date because this is not photopolymer super popular right now. Not so much these anymore so that couldn't be the day and then i got these little fridges i think oh my gosh this was the what i had it in my head earlier oh you guys know the pattern name these pyrex ones um oh man ah, i forgot that stinks okay so these were a dollar 98 a piece which i thought was great so i picked those up butterfly gold right yeah butterfly gold pattern grab those. I thought these were super cute. I found one. It was a dollar 18. Found one of these little apple, like, you know, look like a little creamer to me. Now that I'm looking at them, even though they're not, they don't have measuring marks. They might be like a little, from a little measuring set. I don't, I'm not sure, but that's what they kind of look like to me, but they're so cute with the apples. So I got those. And I was glad to see that they were all the same. Like this one didn't get like three bucks because it's the biggest. Then you guys saw me grab this straw thing for a dollar eighteen, but I didn't want this, so that's gonna be probably redonated. What I wanted was these glass swizzle sticks, these drink stirrers that were skulls. These are really cool. So that's why I got those. 
I actually have a few Halloween swizzle sticks. I'll show you. All right, up here I have a few of my Halloween vintage swizzle sticks. Actually, that one's not Halloween, it's a lion, but it just looks it, oh, in a broom. Um, oh, and then I have a rose swizzle stick, these glass ones. And then I'll show you some more that I have. Right in here, in the doll's head, right, oh, right there, are some more swizzle sticks. They're mermaids and unicorns. Not sure why I felt the need to show you all my drink stirrers, but whatever, it works, right? So then I saw that they must have just put these out. Um, oh yeah, they did because it said the 24th. So this is so cute, this luster wear with the blue. I see, I do see blue sometimes, but mostly I see orange. So it was nice to see another color. Little sugar dish. And then this looks like it's the creamer to it. Both $1.18. So they actually priced their stuff pretty well. My Goodwill, these probably would have been maybe $3.98. And then purple was half off. So I got these pottery looking, um, uh, I was gonna say paper clips. <laughs> Salt and pepper shakers. I was trying to see earlier, but I couldn't do it with one hand what their stopper look like. It's cork, but it's like new cork. But anyway, so these were half off. And this pottery stuff actually, in the mugs anyway, has been selling in my shop, so that's cool. Then you guys saw me find this vintage um, Christmas light topper, or Christmas tree topper, not light topper. Um, let's see if she works, actually. I didn't plug her in. Let me see. Girl, do you not work? She might need either a bulb change or a fuse change. Because she's not working. She's not working, but she's super cute. Let's see, is there? I think this bulb right here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to play around and see. Or that one. Hmm. But I got her for a dollar eighteen. And, oh my gosh, I was making stuff and I got um, like rope hair everywhere. All right, what else did we get? Got this, I thought this was so pretty. Oh my gosh, this little bowl for $1.18, Noritake, hand painted in Japan. Love that. Then I got this little baby thing and it actually, works. I don't want to turn it too much, but, and it's not chipped and it was just sitting right there. And I was like, wow. So I got that. I'm going to regret spinning that. Then I thought this was so cool. It's the Publix guys, but in the gravy boat and the platter, well, I've only ever seen the salt and pepper shakers. $4 brand new, baby. Look, she's got one eyeball. They didn't do too well painting their eyeballs. She's awesome. Bianca, can you come take this out of the room? Like, put it out there so it's not so loud in, in my ear. And then I got this sugar and creamer set. How pretty are these? This is like a minty color. I wish I would have found the little cups to them too. Okay, now this was three bucks, but I thought that was fine because it's a little different and it has its little holder. Then I love finding stuff in their little bags because I always feel like I'm getting a better deal. <laughs> these little bowls say Germany. I'm not sure what they would have been used for. Got little luster in there. I'm not sure if they were little salt things. You know, to pinch the salt. So, I don't know. But it was $1.18 for all of those. Then I got this other little bag that I'm surprised my daughter didn't ask me about. And it's this. Can I have it? It's this, No. It's this little miniature tea set. Can I have it? No. Why? And it was half off because purple is half off. 
And this one says made in Thailand, but it's got the little pitcher, some plates. I love that stuff, it's so cute, right? Was it cute? Then I got two of these fellas. Look at this guy. He's like, yeah, baby, how you doing? <laughs> they were $1.98. So he's glittery. And then this guy has got like a pearl finish. And I'm gonna try and do some, what should I do, Hickey? The, what's that stuff I like? Barkeeper's friend, huh? On him, try and clean him up. He was $1.98 as well. Look, his booty's dirty. He said, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danica's like, mom. Then this dinosaur. Can we just talk about this for a second? Can we give whoever made this some credit? Because I love this dinosaur. At first I thought, oh, I'm going to buy it because Bianca will think it's weird and she's going to love it. Mm -hmm. And I'll save it for her for Christmas. But then I second guessed myself. I said, no, I don't actually think she'd love it. <laughs> I like it. Um, so I won't save it for her for Christmas. But... <laughs> It was $5, and Sean made it. So, Sean, you did a good job, man. Look at that. I don't know. I just love it. It'd be cool if you put, like, some beaded or jewels or something in his eyeballs. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I love that splatter. Maybe if it wasn't like, the green color and the splatter, I'd be like, eh. They kind of remind me of E.T., so I was like, oh, my gosh, Bianca's going to love it. There's a kid at my school that reminds me of E.T. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then got this um, little wired tree with bells, and it said Thailand, I think, on or Taiwan, Thailand, Taiwan on the bottom. I was, you know, iffy about this one, but I ended up getting it. So three bucks. He'll this will be listed somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ask them if they think my makeup looks good for my school. So you want me to show your face? Yeah, I guess. And what are you supposed to be? Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls. Okay, so Bianca wants you guys to judge her makeup on YouTube with thousands of people looking. No. So be kind. But she is doing a, um, what's that day for? It's Good versus Evil. Oh, it's a, the week of Halloween. So next week, every day they're doing something different. And she was practicing her makeup for Good versus Evil Day. So this is her makeup she did. She made some freckles and she did some lips and she did her brows. I gotta kind of help her with that one. But she's, who are you, you said? Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls. Dipper Pines from Gravity Falls. That's who she is. So you guys let her know. See, there's the dipper hat. What you guys think about her makeup then i got this it's some kind of hose faucet timer i saw these on there this was four bucks i saw them going for about thirty dollars so yep i grabbed that and then i got this this was i think another purple item yes okay so that's the only reason why i got it because it was half off and it's got something on the bottom but um, I want some old trophies so freaking bad and I never ever see them and some people pick them up like nothing but I figured with this lid off it almost looks like an old trophy so I thought that was really cool and I thought well that will you know pacify me <laughs> until I can actually like get my hands on one for a good deal so got that guy and then I tried looking this up and I didn't really find anything, but I thought I would give it a shot because it was in the package. Not sure of the date or anything. I don't know, now that I'm looking at it. Is that, I don't know. I was like, is that the paint coming? Like how could the paint be coming off? <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, that was $2.98 and it was in the package, but I didn't really see anything like to buy that company or anything then i found this big old glass cowboy hat sitting on the top shelf and i picked it up and it said um blanco blanco handcrafted made in the usa i looked it up this thing is heavy 
I looked it up and there's lots of solds and there's lots of people wanting two and three hundred dollars but that's mainly for ones that are colored glass so I don't know what this is gonna go for but I'm gonna try it even if it's five bucks even if you know you got 50 or 60 that's still a really good profit and it keeps the baby's tummies full the next thing I got was what'd you say uh-huh yeah. <laughs> next thing I got this is a reproduction of a fridgy dish um oh I don't want that lid to fall my counters are absolutely covered but here I'll take you over here it says Anchor Hawking 1932, oven, microwave, and fridge safe, not for stovetop or broiler use. So since, of course, since it has that, <laughs> it'd be safe to assume that this is a reproduction. Oh, but even being a reproduction, they are still worth a little bit. And it had the sticker, I think it was $2.98. Um, but imagine putting this out in like your Christmas display, especially people that like a 1950s, 40s Christmas, and you can have this lid off if you wanted and have trees in there or have um, ornaments with the lid on. And then you can have like bottle brush trees on top. That would be so cute. And then the last thing I have to share with you is this four set of glasses. Um, I think I have like three of them that I got in a state sale with my mom in the garage that's why i grabbed these because they looked i think they're from this set so these were a dollar 18 a piece still had some pretty cool color this is the only one that's a little questionable like i don't know if his feet came off like what's going on with this beak let's walk over here like what happened to you little fella you almost look like a frog bird or something look at coming off a little bit there so hmm, I don't know it's kind of questionable kind of questionable but I got that and then let me show you one last thing then I got this really cool thing look at this giant blow mold this was at the second one that I was trying to go really quickly hello little kitty I was trying to go in there really quick and hello Gumpy um, so I didn't get it on film but when you turn it off, it's like a yellow color, and I think it's because it's probably faded from the sun. The inside is still orange, which is why when you turn the light on, it glows orange, but the outside just looks like a yellow house now. Um, I want to say this was from Walmart back in the day. It's a uh, general foam, uh, I believe, blow mold, and it's like 32 inches tall. It's almost as tall as my counter, so this one is pretty big, and this one I have actually up on eBay right now. Um, yeah, so I was super excited that I found that really cool find. All right, guys. So that is my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked seeing all the things that I got. Let me know what is your favorite item. Could it be the E.T. dinosaur? Is it the vintage snowman that looks very dapper? Or I don't know. Pick something. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.